Getting something? Yeah. All I need to do is say that one more time. And then they have a that radiant heat? I want to read uh, a couple of pieces from this uh, this new collection I have called Radiant Fog, which is a collection of pieces that I wrote for uh, most of them. I wrote for Angle Magazine about ten years ago, which was a really cool magazine here in Cleveland, edited by Amy Sparks and uh, Dan Tramper. <coughs> It's called September Song. September's time for a change. The year's rolling anyway, you might as well roll with it. The sunlight at my window lights up details in the room. Almost unbearably it holds them. The edge of a bookcase, a length of phone cord, a patch on the wall. And then it lets them go. A five-gallon bucket of ice dumped under the bar, a pitcher of cut limes, a leaning tower of stainless steel mixing cups, bright wine glasses on the back bar, Midori, Amaretto, Galliano, a red rubber-nubbed Bacardi mat, a green stirring straw, ceiling fans turning, my face between bottles, a rolled bar cloth, a helix of coasters, a wrought iron basket of lemons, a mirror near the door, mirroring glass brick, plastic palms. The million glass brights like all the momentary dreams alive in here. The black plastic bin of orange slices, lemon slices, limes, onions, cherries. Why is everything more interesting in a mirror, even the room you're in? Because it has a frame around it? The blue glare of a cell phone, a black door marked private, Betty Page, in black and white on TV, spanking women, their scissoring ankles. Betty Page spanking and spanking in the sudden roar of conversations. I was here last night, sitting by the door, when a well-fed 40-ish guy in an olive blazer and black turtleneck came in and sat at a table without getting a drink. Half an hour later, a woman stepped through the curtains at the front door, looked at me, I didn't move, she looked around and landed on him as he half stood up. Eventually, he got them a couple of drinks. She was basically unhappy and he was basically selfish. You know a dead end when you see it, especially someone else's. <laughs> they were good for a polite hour and a half at most. Tonight, the same guy's here again, same table. He must have taken out an ad. <laughs> a glad to be here redhead comes in. He stands up. This one I like. At Treat Street, the taxidermy bar, I'm outside for a smoke. Johnny Cash is on the jukebox singing Solitary Man. I lean in over the shredded half door to hear it. Cream-colored Cadillac parked across the street. You have only your broken life to rely on. No extraordinary hopes, no extra physical warmth. Only your life as it is, half drunk in a Friday dusk. A mist comes down to street level. Halos are coming with cruciform glare. A pair of basketball shoes hangs from a wire. The hour should be blue, but it's only deeper gray. Behind me, Mexican music is playing. Melissa and Eric are finishing supper. I'm done with mine. A lighted bus has just gone by and sunk to a stop at the red light where it idles and exhausts. I can feel the mist on my face. You find yourself back in your life for a moment. Once again, it's right where you are. Now I crash down at home in a swivel chair, still in my jacket, Towns Van Zandt, the piano chords standing in the air like a cornfield at night. This is where I am, a liter of water, the insistent unwinding of the computer. I'm aging and absurd, disgusted with myself, but a little delusional too. We see ourselves in terms of potential, and others see us as we are. Purple towel on the doorknob. I want to talk with a woman in the dark about nothing. Loneliness is not about what you can't get, but about what you can't give. 
all of a sudden the other night she and I were talking about how things have to change. We have to release each other. If there were another way, we'd have found it in three and a half years. It was late when we said goodnight, but I woke at 5.30 and lay there for half an hour as the triangle of sky between houses, overcast, became gray, and then I went to the gym. I dried off at the tall, arched windows, looking out at the gray morning and the bay, and then at the concrete pier, at the vivid, wet green moss above the waterline. I got a coffee and walked toward work, feeling calm and coherent and a little bit released, and then a thought of her was in my eyes and something had a thumb against my windpipe as I carried my bag and coffee past window, 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 reflecting the same person as ever. When someone loves you, that person is your witness in the world. That doesn't go away. September's waiting for you. September's waiting in the morning like a horse track in the sun. Dewy, long shadowed, almost unbearably bright. Workouts are underway. Soft thunder of hooves and dirt clods. Autumn is coming. You're, in, you're back in God's light now. Go on, little darling. I'll watch you at the rail. It's all yours. Reinvent yourself today. Nice. Yeah.